Okay, and we are back. Uh, quick thing that I wanted to throw out there really fast. Um, I've realized that a lot of the episodes where I'm at uh, ac Academia or whatever really just wind up being a lot of me running around trying to find uh, green exclamation point people and otherwise just trying to fill the time in between. So this episode is going to be more of that, but I'm going to try something a little bit different. Instead of just showing everything, basically, including all the boring stuff of me running around, I'm going to cut it down to just when I find those events, and if anything interesting happens to happen in between, I'll put it in there. Uh, just an experiment this time around, if you guys would prefer to see it like this, where I kind of trim the fat for any episodes in uh, Academia, let me know, and we'll do it like this in the future. Uh, if you prefer where it's completely unedited, knowing, knowing that that will mean a lot more time spent in Academia, a longer series, you know, more episodes that could be considered a filler, I guess you would say. Uh, you know, basically, those are the two options. Let me know which, uh, which one do you prefer. But anyway, off to find, uh, Green Exclamation Point, people. There do not appear to be any Green Exclamation Point people in here. I'm vastly disappointed. Yeah. That the sea we fought in the Liberation was different from the one who blew up Togareth, right? Yeah, there's no way it was the same one. I'm pretty sure it would have vaporized us on huh? the spot. What is it? So, what? Does the Empire have some kind of Lissi army and they can summon at will or something? Fighting a bunch of uber-powerful superhumans wherever we go isn't really my idea of yeah. fun. Aren't you guys paying- like, how do I know the rules of your own world better than you? You guys are really dumb. You okay? Let's see. Walk on- what? Gameplay recording is paused because I've entered a blocked scene? Haha, <laughs> that's what you think, PlayStation 4. Walk on, wandering souls, for your respite we pray. Let our humble song clear your- Oh, these lyrics, they're a song- they're from a song Mother used to sing to me. What do you want? The words feel so soothing to me. Sometimes when I'm feeling down, I just sing to myself. There's a sense of sadness in the lyrics, but it's tinged with hope. I like that. You okay? Why is that blocked? Because it's lyrics, I guess? It must be lyrics of, like, the theme song or something that's by Bump of Chicken. I don't know. Uh, is there anything of interest in here at all? We have a class discussion about what happened in Togreth Capose. Some started brawling, but others burst out laughing. My kids are certainly unique. Even down to their coping mechanisms, Kupo. What exactly are you supposed to be? I can't tell. What is this? We had a class discussion- Yeah! What is Class 12th Moogle? That is- It looks odd. Whatever, okay. So, absolutely nothing interesting is happening in the break room at high school. That's a first. Um... Let's head somewhere else. Okay, how about this? Hi. Trey, what do you have to say? In light of the incident at Togareth, is it- one that there is one fact which can be cer of of which we can be certain. I need to just slow down and actually read these instead of trying to power through them because I always want to make mistakes. The power of a primus lassi is staggering. Surely you know about lassi, yes? Yeah, I'm gonna listen anyway. The term lassi refers to one who has received a focus from one of the four crystals. He who fulfills their focus turns to crystal. He who disobeys is cursed to live as a seeth. A lassi is blessed with the power of uh, power immeasurable and life eternal. And all for one sole purpose, to execute the will of his respective crystal. It is interesting to note that although we lose our painful memories of those who have died, the names and faces of Lassie remain in our minds long after they turn into crystal. Seeing a Lassie live such solitary existences can span several centuries. Perhaps they simply outlive all those who might grieve them. Hmm. Alright, well that was one down. Oh, there's another one over here. Grab this one really fast while we're in here. Dominion Legionary. You class zero kids are really making a name for yourselves. You're good, but you still haven't experienced a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat, right? Why don't I give you some pointers? You gonna teach me the basics of CQC? I'm sure you kids get tired of carrying around your gear. You know, tired from carrying around all that gear. But think about it. If you, dis if you disarm and the enemy catches you off guard, you're dead meat, right? That's why the best advice I can give you is all is to always proceed with your weapon drawn. If you don't want to get sliced to pieces, that is. That's a big ass bird. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself, I Nine. I swear I've seen that bird before. God, this guy's voice actor is possibly my new favorite person on planet Earth. I've never I think I've seen that bird before. I swear I've seen that bird before seen it before somewhere in my dreams or my nightmares I mean like yeah you've uh, I don't know whatever I can I could think of some witty comment but I honestly don't want to hey look a green exclamation point who are you orderly is it's I'm still just orderly in training so I haven't received my assignment yet who's in charge of class zero isn't it Aria 
Ari is a girl of few words, isn't she? I've only heard her speak a handful of times. She's quite sharp, though, which is probably why Central Command assigned her to Class Zero. Not only is she efficient, but she's modest, too. Some people are really patronizing and act like they're doing you a favor, but not Aria. I really admire her, and so do the other orderlies. She, she's all we ever talk about on break. That reminds me. I found this lying around in our break room. You can have it if you'd like. Glass pendant. Okay. I don't know what half the stuff I'm getting. Like, I mean, obviously I'm getting items from most of these people, but like that... What is, what is a glass pendant, I wonder, you know? Can I talk to these guys? Whoa! That was magic! How'd you guys do that? Teach me your secrets, Sensei. Where are you going? No? You're just gonna... Very well. Very well. What are these guys? you have anything interesting to say? My CEO said that Kator Bashar showed up on the front lines at Togareth in the battle. In a battle of that scale, it makes sense that the Empire would send out the big guns. Kator Bashar, who's that? Is he some kind of militancy bigwig or something? Um, he's only the most talented Magitek armor pilot in all of Militus. Seriously, have you not heard of him? He's practically the talk of Orients. So that is the name of the guy who was piloting the experimental weapon, I suppose. We actually haven't been over here before, so I'll head over this direction. I couldn't remember the name of the guy to save my life, because I was writing the name of that episode the other day, and I was going to put, like, his name in the tags or the description or something, since there's a boss fight against him, but I did not know the guy's name. <laughs> oh right, yeah, here is the airship landing. Kim, don't come over here before. That Queen Adornia is pretty impressive. Not only is she in charge of the entire country, but she's also an azure dragon Lassie. Why would you let the Lassie be in charge of the country? Never mind. Let's see. Oh, well, let's see. Uh, wait. Are Lassie even allowed to rule? You see, I was right! I knew it! And then again, I guess it's not impossible since the Larissian king is a Lassie, or was, I should say. Huh? Oh, right, because Larissia was the one who got nuked. They got nuked, right? All right, whatever. Let's go this direction. I get the feeling that he lived through that. I'm just going to throw that out there. I'm, I'm willing to bet that he lived. So, you may know about the four champions of Rubrum, but do you know there is only one girl among them, Kupo? Just so happens that she used to be one of my cadets, Kupo. Unfortunately, she and her comrades are no longer among the living, save Commander Kurasame. It turns out that... One of the four champions tried to murder his friends, Kapo. Well, from the sounds of it, he succeeded. They say it was a terrible sight, but my cadet, oh, she was so brave, Kapo. With her last ounce of strength, she cast a healing spell on the commander in hope that he might live on. Commander Kurosame did not wish to forget her noble sacrifice, so he wrote a note to himself in his own blood just as she drew her last breath, Kapo. Even though she was one of my class fourth cadets, I don't remember much about the female champion. I've always meant to ask Commander Kurosame about her, but I'm too scared. Wouldn't he not be able to remember her anymore? Or is this in a... Is this more of... I'm still suspicious that there's, like, this whole memory wiping thing is only done to certain people under military command, and, like, certain people are privy to... I don't know. We'll find out. Or are we saying that the bloodstained note is the only thing he has to remember her by? Is that what they're saying? Traumatizing for the commander... Perhaps always was so glum, but I thought the whole point was that we can't remember people who die. This game needs to decide what's going on already. We estimate the airship will be up and running again soon, but we cannot offer our regular commuter shuttle service so long as Militus controls all the surrounding airspace. Okay. Uh. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that the same Moogle? No, that's a different Moogle. Okay. Hey, Moogle, what you doing? Togareth was destroyed? No, that's preposterous. Certainly, there must be some sort of error, Kapo. I mean, no error. I mean, I, once again, I imagine you guys can see the smoking crater from here. Oh, look at that, the camera's on the other side of the fence. Tactical fence action there. Alright, this way. Here we are, you a green mage. Sniff, what do you want, Capo? Yes, I'm fine, and no, I'm definitely not crying, Capo. Oh, that class third Moogle just pounds my pom-pom. <laughs> Alright, if Z ever does... All Z ever- is this- because this guy's French then, okay. All Z ever does is brag about how her cadets are so magically gifted. Class 6 specializes in magic too, you know. Is it- is, I, I'm confused. Just because my kids may not be as talented as hers doesn't mean Z has the right to rub it in, Kupo. My class is filled with hard workers, though. And uh, every one of them is determined to provide as much as they can. I'm not doing... I'm, like, slipping into German and back to French. I'm not doing a very good job with this accent right now. I need to get in the right mindset instead of just launching into an accent. And again, you guys probably don't ever worry about something like class rankings. Every Coupeau in the domain acknowledges class zero is number one. 
I thought we were number zero. Oh, that was a pun! Not even really. Let's see. Okay, any more ring exclamation point people around here? Lots of tasks. I forget what question mark means. What does this mean? Familiar with a data link. It's a magic communication system used by the Dominion on a number of missions and, ex and would add say expert trials. I didn't read it fast enough because I'm stupid and hit X before I finished reading it. Once you connect the target to the HQ via m mana circuitry. This game is trying really hard. You can transit info back and forth. That way, rear guard soldiers like me can provide technical support from a safe location. You'll lose reception if you stray too far from the target, so be careful you don't get disconnected. Otherwise, you'll have to start the process all over again. That is totally going to be like the way that some mission plays out or something, probably. Let's see, what do you got here? You'll end up in North Togreth if you just keep heading north from Academia. Well, yes, you could take the commuter airship there if it weren't under computer uh, Imperial control, newbie. It seems like like normal NPCs give information akin to that. Why has this guy got special, you know, info thing over his head? I don't know, it doesn't matter. It's not that important, I suppose. I'm not accepting any tasks right now, because I don't want to have to... Hey! about Ah, uh, worrying about running into the field and doing that right now. Being Agito is a daunting... Becoming Agito is a daunting task, so I'm here to provide some incentive, Kapo. I've got some presents to give to you according to how much time you've spent in Orients. Class first didn't get to be the top class in Academia without pushing and putting in plenty of effort. And I say hard work should be rewarded, so do you always do your best, Kapo. <laughs> the female and spineless I know plays amongst the noble ranks of class first. We fight not for survival, but for glory. Okay. That's a great philosophy. Don't survive, be a hero. That's the mentality of, like, the Spartans and other ancient, now considered to be primitive people. Okay, he is officially the only green exclamation point that I've been able to find around the entire school. I've been waiting. I'm sure I'm gonna regret this. Yep, yep, I already regret it. Wonderful. Fantastic. So glad that I did this. I've seen all kinds, but Krasame's body really is the most fascinating. Just what I'd expect from someone who is still in active service. That it? Okay. That was the extent of that, I guess. That wasn't... I mean, it was still creepy that he felt the need to knock me out to have that monologue, but you know, whatever. So does he, like, respawn if I enter back in here, or...? No? Okay, whatever. Let's go try and find more people to talk to, I guess, or else I'm gonna have to go out into the field. I really didn't want to do that. I wanted to do more academ academ and stuff, but I guess we'll we'll see how that goes. Alright, I can't seem to find any more exclamation point people around the entire school. Wait, let's go check and see if Queen is active right now or not. I don't think she is, but let's see if she has anything to say. She does not! You weren't thinking of tr of trying to read the a a what Akashtik Akashtik records were you? Even someone of my academic prowess can only read up until what is marked as present. What does that mean? What does that mean? This game is like being made as we play it. I think. Let's go. All right, well, since there doesn't seem to be anything else going on in the school, we're going to head out into the school. Small favor to ask, would you would do anything for your dear mother, wouldn't you? I want you to go and see how strong you've all become. I worry about you children going off on these dangerous missions, so I'd like to rest easy knowing that you can all defend yourselves out there. Uh, finish three enemies with fire RF. She said something else to Machina when I talked to her earlier, like, and I, f I forget exactly how it went, but whatever. Then you would say yes, make your mother proud. It was some- it, she described the task somewhat differently. I don't know what- let me- I, I want to double check. I want to double check and see what the task description was as Machina. What did she say before? Okay. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna slap, uh, who do I want to have in the lead? Who have I not had in the lead at all yet? I don't think I've used- I think I've used Trey, like, in gameplay, just not in the- who have I not used yet? I'm not gonna use Jack at all. Jack! There we go. Something. I don't know. Variety. Video. What does Jack have to say about this, I wonder? Good, an adventure. This is... I don't understand. 
Anything else to say? Oh, good. An adventure. I think I think Cater is the only one who's lying regarding that thing has been sensical so far. Oh well. Let's get going. Alright, so I figure I've got chocobos to burn. We can run around to all the different towns and see if they've got green exclamation point people to talk to. Though I guess that doesn't burn time when you're out in the field, or does it? I don't remember. I don't think that burns time when you're out in the field, and that was like we got ambushed, wasn't it? That's what that means when they're yeah. Uh, enemies' current status is Rage. Oh, these guys are still around. How are there still stragglers at this point? Haha! -ha! Oh no! Oh crud, what did I- I just used an item on myself, because I'm stupid. The people told me how to use- how to lock on to, uh, to, um, uh, dead bodies, and I do not remember what they told me anymore. Because I'm, uh, I'm dumb, I guess. Oh well. How do you put the weapon away? There we go. Oh, I guess it's L1 to do that. Alright. Every time I do this, I relearn the controls, and then I step away from it too long and forget how to do it again. Oh, well. Alright. Oh, the mayor is still giving his speech, even though it's been, like, a couple weeks, probably. Oh, well. Is this, like, is this seriously what's going on? Is If he says, like, if he says, this, I've been gotten way better at these speech things, thanks to your help, then I'm gonna be impressed. Uh, okay. Vague, vague answer. Could be that there's just... This is another day, another speech. Oh well, whatever. I don't really care too much about you complaining about how life, your how hard your life is now that you're in a war. Entitled jerk. All right, let's see here. What's wait? Why are my controls hidden? I wanna. Okay. Oh, cause my weapon wasn't drawn. All right, whatever. Very good. Okay. Very good. Next one. Very good. Alright, that was three enemies that I killed with a thing. I forgot I have to go turn the task into her, don't I? Oh well. Obtain an ice shard. I'll fight one more. Fight one more group of people. Since I'm already buffed because of uh, advantages. So apparently, like, Jack is, like, really good against uh, monsters or something. That's, what, that's my understanding, anyway. I could be wrong. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and move on from here. Yeah, retreat. Alright, on to, let's see, is this still going to block me, or am I allowed to go this way now? Because before, it said, nope, you cannot go this direction. Oh! Not blocked any- oh, nope, I am. <laughs> okay, never mind. Back the other way, I guess. Alright, there was nothing of interest in Korosai, so we're going to um, uh, move on. Pull out another Chocobo, and let's just go have a look around. Where am I even headed, anyway? Oops, wrong button. I mean, actually, is that right? No. Okay, hold on. Let's get into the next region, and then I'll use that. How about that? Now I'm in Togarath, now I can use it. Wait, what? Why'd the music change? Oh, because I've got to load into this area? Okay. What do we got here? Okay, so giant smoldering crater and a militesi-controlled town. I'm kind of curious as to what the game does if I go there. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. I want to go to the militesi-controlled town. How do I, do I have to go right here, or can I go... Let's go buy the smoking crater of the two nukes hitting each other first, and then we'll go check that out. Also, can I capture this chocobo? Yes, haha. I can capture chocobos chump from chocobo bath, so... Ch chocobo back, so... Very good, very good. Oh no. Oh dear. It's got me locked in its sights. Oh dear. I didn't realize they'd chase me. <laughs> this could be a problem. Oh, and I can't get around here. I gotta go through the other one over here now. That one's no, he's still not following anymore. Okay, good. He's not following me anymore. Slip by this guy. Oh no! Oh dear. Uh, I gotta get the chocobo. I think I can ride this chocobo. Oh no! Go, 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 go! Oh, chocobo plus! Run faster! I don't think I can get down from here. There is no way down from here, is there? No, thank goodness. Okay. Oh dear. Oh boy. Leave me alone. Alright, nice. Very nice. I escaped. Haha. -ha. There we go. Alright. Let's go check out this other militesi controlled town. If it'll let me go there. It might say this is this area is too hot for you to handle. Or it might not. Let's find out what it has to say. Don't 
Dude, it is almost always worth just doing the, the explodey thing right away because it does so much damage to everything around you. It finishes the fight half the time. At least with these random monsters, it seems like. Alright. Getting pretty close now. I wonder if the game is going to go, no, you can't go here, or if we're just going to be able to like, walk in and take it on our own. Alright, we're getting pretty close now. Oh, you gotta be- so it lets me get this close, but just the, the military occupying this town doesn't notice the most infamous soldiers on the battlefield just kind of strolling up to their border. Whatever, let's head back the other direction, I guess. On the bright side, I'm getting plenty of Phantom, I suppose. I forgot, I can war- I can warp back to Academia, can't I? There's an option for that, right? Yeah, okay. Let's do this, just warp back. And then I guess I'll accept like another task and go out and do that because I mean there's no there's no green exclamation points anywhere and I don't want I don't want to skip because that's just it's a waste of time you know that's a waste of uh, waste of valuable time to do that. Yeah, I get I'm mm, I hope that you guys like the uh, the the proposed method of editing these down to just the interesting bits when I'm doing these types of episodes because as of right now I've been recording for about 35 minutes and uh, that's you know more than one episode and there has been like. Not even half an episode worth of interesting content. <laughs> oh well. Let's go turn this into uh, what's her face, and then uh, maybe try and find another quest. And that'll probably that'll probably wrap this one, I imagine. You look well. You look uh, wait. well. What? Wait, did it say? Oh, did it say like I had to use like militacy targets or something? Where's my current quests? So that exists somewhere, right? Where's the, where can I see my current quests? I should have paid more attention. There's no information, is there? Is there no way to see what my current quests are? Nope, that doesn't do anything. That doesn't work. I have to go to the save point, perhaps? Nope, wrong button. Uh, great, okay. I guess I could check the recording, but, uh... No, I really don't want to do that. Oh, well. You know what? I've decided it's not worth it. It's not even worth fighting with. Let's just get our mission and proceed. I have to go to what's his face to do that, don't I? Uh, I don't need anything from you. Sorry. All right, time to go, I guess. Go and ex accept, uh, skip to mission day or whatever. At ease. Special sign from you. Think of it as your homework. Overwhelming your opponent on the offensive onslaught is one option, but the battlefield time is everything. A single well played strike can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Practice maintaining your composure. Study your opponent. Wait for the right timing and strike. Uh. Land 10 kill set. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, well, how do I skip the mission day? There's a way to do this, right? Somebody likes knives. Well, that clearly wasn't how to do it. Okay, so for some reason, we're taking orders from her now. Let's see. Dominion Army is mounting a large scale campaign to reach. Why did I add large scale? I assume things, and they're not there. Ish Ishak, a small task force will infiltrate Ishak's fog-laden underground aqueducts, create a diversion using exploding magicite, and quickly occupy the area in the ensuing confusion. Visibility will be extremely limited, but Class Zero must navigate the waterways and position the magicite. Let's see, if you're ready to march, I can have you deployed immediately. Yes, let's go. Skip those last six hours, because I'm upset now. Alright, head to Classroom Zero! da 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 Mission orders are as follows. Once you've received, reviewed your objective, head to the front lines. Yep, great. Okay. Place his magicite on the energy reactor so it's detonated and take out the town's power supply. Also, equip a protect spell before you deploy. Self-defense is key to survival. Oh, I now have protect. I was going to say, how the heck do I do that? But he gave it to me. Three pieces of magicite. Very nice. Okay. I'm on fire now. Was that Cater or was that Sink? I couldn't tell. Whoever said it, I'm very disappointed in you. If it's Cater, come on, I thought you were cool. If it's Sync, yeah, okay. It's about what I expected. Alright. Well, I don't know how long the episode's gonna come out to be, but again, I'm, I'm gonna cut it down like I said I was going to. That is, this is the theoretical way that I'm gonna do these going forward. Like, I probably wouldn't, uh... Like, last time I depleted half the stuff that was here, that was last episode, you know? So theoretically, it would be all the content from last the last episode and this one. And I would get, you know, all of the Academia stuff out in one episode and cut it down like that. If you want to see episodes cut like the way this one was in the future, let me know. That's how I'll do it. But until then, uh, see you next time where we will be uh, attacking the enemy city.